Hello everyone! Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today we're going to be learning a crochet twist top. I've seen it all over my TikTok and all over my Pinterest, so I thought I'd make a tutorial. First, you're just going to need a 4mm hook, yarn, weight 4. I did 3 colors, you can do 2, 4, 50, not actually 50, but whatever number you want in different variations. And some scissors because we're going to be switching each row so we need to cut a lot. First you're going to change the length from under your armpit to armpit plus more depending on how much back you want shown. So basically it's going to cover our whole front, our whole cups, the front of our body. And preferably have it multiple of 10 because it helps with the math later. And you're just going to chain the length of that. In order to measure this I usually just put it up against my body and you can kind of see how much you want how long you want it to be. All with the same color, once you finish the chain, you're going to do a half double crochet in each of the chains, all the way down the row. Next you're going to cut the yarn and then tie a knot. In order to do so you pull the cut yarn through the loop on your hook and you don't want it too long but you don't want it too short and you're just going to give it a nice tug. Once you finish the first row of half double crochets, you're going to make a slip knot with the new color. And then you just insert your hook in the first chain of the new row, last chain of the last row you did, and just pull the slip knot through. I like to tighten it a little bit, and then I chain one to start the new row. What I like to do is half double crochet as usual, but you're going to put the ends in between or on top of the chain the stitches if that makes sense and you can just see me doing it so I crochet over it and once it starts to get towards the end I keep pulling the ends tight so it kind of scrunches it a little bit so you can see me pulling it and this is only temporary because eventually once you crochet over the ends and it's no longer there you basically are going to just pinch the end of the corner of the beginning of the row and just pull it so it's all loose and tucked in all nice and neat. You're going to continue to switch colors for 15 more, 15 rows total. So we already are on our second row, so 13 more. And just keep half double crocheting in each row. And this is going to be the cups. So if it's not the height of your cup size, I know I don't have a very large cup size, so for those bigger booby ladies out there, you're going to want to add more height so that it covers everything. We don't need anything slipping out. So you just keep going, adding as many rows, and just measure on yourself.
now we're gonna have to do some math so first i like to measure and kind of guess how wide my twist is which for me it was 12 and i know that i started with 60 chains in the beginning so i divided 60 by 2 which is 30 and then i divided 12 by 2 which is 6 and then i did 30 minus 6 which is 24. so you're basically dividing those two numbers in half and then subtracting them from each other and here's a little chart number for the number of stitches so basically what that number means is how much you're going to crochet on each side so since i had 60 my number was 24 so i'm going to start off by just doing 24 half double crochets on one side So I did 24 on one side without twisting it yet. And that is it with a twist. So basically once you twist it, you're gonna be crocheting on the other side, doing half double crochets on that side. But first we have to make the gap in between. So you're going to chain 12 because that was the width, how many chains wide my twist was. And then you just go back into the other side with half double crochets. But when you go back, I like to count the same number back so that's even. So we did 24 on one side. So when you twist it, count back 24 on the other side. So on my side, you count 24 from the opposite end on the white. So now I'm just counting my 24 stitches so that it is even. Once I found the number, instead of just inserting your hook and slip knotting, you're going to want to wrap over one for the half double crochet and then insert your hook and do a half double crochet as normal. And then you're just going to half double crochet the rest of the row. You're done the hardest part, yay! 
So now you're just going to do what we did for the cups in the beginning and you're just going to keep switching the colors and I added 19 more rows so a total of 20 but if you want it to be a little longer or shorter you can add more or less rows so I just go through keep switching the colors as normal and no more twisting none of that you're just going to keep crocheting over those half double crocheting over those ends. Now we're gonna add the little corset part where we're gonna pull the corset strap, string, knot, whatever it's called in the back. So I turn it on its side and I start off with, I used white, but whatever color you think looks best, you're gonna start at a corner and you're gonna start off with a single crochet. So I just make my slip knot, insert my hook and single crochet. So now I single crochet and then I chain three. So these are the gaps and I skip a row. These are going to be the gaps that you put the yarn through later. So you can see me skipping a row. So since we have a total of 35 rows adding the cups in the body, you're going to want to make five gaps. So in order to do that, I divided 35 by five and then you get seven. So then you do six rows in each so in each row you put a single crochet you do six and then you chain three which is like the seventh of the five and you're gonna add one at the top and the bottom so it pulls it nice and tight and you just keep repeating this pattern for the rest of the side
Then you just repeat it for the other side, but try to make sure that they look, they're both on the right side. Next you want to chain 300 to 400. It's a lot because we have to weave it through six gaps. And honestly, mine ended up being too short. I suggest even making the chain and then weaving it through without cutting it just to measure. Because once you cut it, or just make it longer than you want it to be, because once you cut it, you, it's kind of difficult to add it back. But just, you can try it on, see how long it is. And, but this is a number that would work. Once you're done the chain, make sure each side is even by putting the two ends, the two knots against each other and then pulling it all the way down so that you can see where the half is. That just makes it easier later because you're going to need each side to be even when you tie it later. You don't want side, one side to be super long and one side to be super short. And then once you have that, you set up your top, make sure you have it on the right side. So you can kind of see that it's neater on one side with the single crochets and have those facing out. Then put your hook through the gaps that we had made and you're going to pull one end of the string all the way through. We're going to be doing this for each time but we're going to be crisscrossing it each time in between each gap. Just keep weaving it in through each gap, crisscrossing it for the rest of the gaps. All done! Good work, Klaus! Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more tutorials and make lots of patterns for cute tops, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Comment down below if you were able to make this or if you have any questions. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye!